Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is my first impression video of the Straddle Wristlet RFID wallet. Uh, before I go on, I just want to say this is not a review. This is something I don't own. I don't have this product, um, but uh, I am just looking at it for the first time with you guys here, uh, just because it's more fun to do than just sitting here on my own. So, um, and this is just me looking at it uh, with all its uh, all the features and things with you guys. So. Um, my other first impression is this looks like a really retro lug product. This looks like it came out, I don't know, 15 years ago. Uh, this looks very familiar as ter in terms of color and sort of shape. And the quilting looks very sort of, you know, yeah, like 15 year old uh, lug product. So that's kind of... I think when I think back to like lug, like the the original, not the original, I guess the original, the older, older lug products, I think of like solid, bright colors with um, just sort of, if they're going to have, like when they when they do have quilting, which often they did, it was sort of very um, basic and very sort of symmetrical. So that's what I see here. I see a very retro looking lug piece. If it wasn't for the fact that there was that gunmetal cursive logo on it, I would swear to you that this was an older product. Like if I had seen this, I would have thought that someone had brought something out and sold it on Poshmark because it was something that's been sitting in their closet for the past 10, 15 years, and now they're selling it. But um, the Lug logo is a dead giveaway that it's like a more current product. Otherwise, I would have sworn on a stack that this was an older product. So um, anyway, so $75 Canadian, that's really expensive. Um, it's, I don't think it's their most expensive wallet because I think there are some that are slightly more expensive and certainly the vegan leather ones are more expensive, but that's a lot of money for a small little thing that you put inside a bigger bag. Um, I don't think wallets should cost that much. I understand why, because lug, I mean, we, let's, let's put it this way, like all wallets, ultimately, there's a lot of zippers and pouches and pockets and a lot of sewing. Um, so the actual production of a wallet even though the materials are less, the actual, you know, f the making of a wallet is significantly harder. Um, but um, yeah, I, I, it always freaks me out when a bag, you know, only costs $15, $20 more than a wallet. So um, even though wallets for, especially lug wallets, they really, really are amazing. And they have, you know, so many pockets and so many great little features. So I never really completely begrudge lug charging more because they really do have, I think, probably the best wallets on the market. But it is really hard to bite down on $75. Um, now, I know it's one of their larger wallets, but it is really hard to swallow. So, okay, so let's, I guess, look at the colors first, and then we'll read what it says. And we'll look at the video. So Right off the bat, like I said, this is one of their sort of more retro colors. Um, and retro, this really looks like an older style wallet. It's really quite funny. Uh, so this is the grass green. This is a new color that they've just introduced recently. And it looks like the interior, yeah, the interior. See, this is so old school lug. So when you used to open up the older lugs, they had a solid interior that usually matched the exterior. Sometimes maybe it would have like a slightly different shade. So if it was like a blue on the outside, it would be a lighter shade of blue on the inside or something like that. But this is so old school lug where the outside and the inside are a perfect match. Um, I know that you can see a little tiny bit of the print. So that's the Aloha. I'm assuming the Aloha, what is it? Oh, Aloha cream, I think it is, something like that, right inside there. Um, but you know, the, the, the lug that you see today, usually the whole thing would be the inter interior print. And I'm a little bit sad that at least, you know, like right behind that card slot isn't the interior print. So that makes me a little bit sad because um, it's always fun to see a little pop of color in there, even though you probably have that thing covered with a card usually. But when you take it out, it's always fun to see that little pop of color in there. Um, OK, so, yeah, so this is so old school. It is it's really kind of trippy actually to see this uh, sitting here on their website. OK, so it looks like there's a ton of card slots, which, which is always really, really good. Um, so we're looking at um, something for, probably very similar to probably like a like a splits XL um, as far as the layout of the card slots here um, or a kick flip. A lot of, so the kick flip also has little slots on this side with a little clear view. Um, so it's kind of like a kick flip meets as a splits XL meets a Zeppelin. 
<laughs> um, Zeppelin? Zipliner. No. What's the one with the... Is it Zeppelin? I think it's Zeppelin. Oh, I can't remember these. Oh, Quick Step. That's what I'm looking at. Quick Step. My goodness. Getting them all mixed up. Um, okay, so, um, so it looks like there's a little pocket there, like a little, like a slip pocket right there. There's another one back here. So you can put your cash, your receipts. Um, and then here, there's another where you see the actual um, lining there. Uh, it looks like a like one with a whole gusset. So you can actually put, say, I'm assuming like you could probably slide your cell phone in there. Uh, if you happen to have a checkbook, if you're still writing checks, which I think there are still people who do. Um, if you happen to have a checkbook, you might be able to slide a checkbook in there. You may not be able to get like the case of your checkbook, um, but at least you can probably slide your checks in there. Um, who's still writing checks? Like, show of hands. I'm just curious. Is anybody still writing checks? I know I occasionally still do, um, but I I don't write as many as I used to. Um, but I but I do know that people still write checks. So I'm just curious. Out of out of all of us here, does anybody still write checks? And if you do. To whom do you write them? Like for for what purpose do you actually still need to write checks as opposed to e-transfer? I'm curious. Okay, um, I digress. All right, so let's see the next thing here. So the wristlet, very important. I love, love wallets with wristlet straps. It makes it easier to hang on to. It makes it easier if you need to pull it out of your wallet. And if you are, uh, sorry, out of, your out, of your out of your bag, you can actually grab it by the by the wristlet strap as opposed to trying to actually grab on to the wallet itself. Sometimes things get wedged, but you can still sort of see a little tail hanging out. You can pull it out by the strap. Um, and yeah, it's just a, another way that you can carry it. So if you want to just run into the store and just take your wallet with you and not take everything, you can just take it and wrap it around your wrist and it's, it's, it's a different way of carrying it. So um, a really long change pocket back here with its own little gusset. Uh, that's really, really long, which is great. Um, so that's it. So it's just the one main compartment. All right. Um, let's see if there's any other photos of it sort of being used. Nope, nothing. Okay. So let's look at the colors. So, uh, you know, that was the grass green. So that's black, just straight up black. And it looks like it's that teal. What is that called? That teal paisley or whatever it's called, something like that. Uh, something Kelly Green, Paisley Kelly Green, which is nice. But okay, here's the thing. This is the thing that I always loved about Lug, and I and they're starting to do it now, and it's really upsetting me. And it's kind of a peeve of mine. Lug supposedly swore that they would never, ever, ever have a plain black interior or a black interior bag because it's too dark. You can't see. And here we are, they're starting to do this. Like you can starting, I'm starting to see it creep in here and there. Sometimes it may not be completely black. Like like it might be like a bouquet black or something really, really dark. Even though it's a pretty pattern, it's still a really dark, dark interior. So when you go looking inside, it's, it's kind of like a cave. This is stupid. Um, this is straight up black. Like you're not even trying here. Like I know there's a little interior f sort of, you know, pop of color there, but... I mean, I guess it's not a bag. So when you open it up, you can still see everything because it's, you know, it's a small little wallet. You're not, it's not like you're going into like the deep, you know, abyss of the bottom of your bag. So then, you know, you really can't see down there. This is just a wallet. But still, it does bother me a little bit because, you know what, that's kind of part of the reason why we love lug. At least that's one of the reasons why I love it is that interior fun pop of color that the exterior makes you as happy as the interior. So when you open up your bag, you open up your wall, you open up a pocket and there's a whole other level of fun on the inside of that. And that's part of the reason why I think Lug is so unique, that they actually think about things like that. And to have your black wallet have a black interior is just, I don't know, I think it's kind of depressing. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that. Um, and then we've got the, um, the, the new Brush Marina Ice Pop Stitch. And let's see if you can just see the interior. That looks like the Love Stripe Multi there. See, that's just boring on the inside. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just find it really sad. Okay, so Butterfly Poppy. Okay, but see, here's the thing. This one has a print on the outside, so it looks like the print carried onto the inside. That's fine. I like that. See, that's kind of fun, because now you open up your bag, you're like, oh, look, butterflies. It almost looks like butterflies are going to come flying out at you when you open this thing. That's great. Um, but the actual interior print of that pocket, I think, is that... 
ice pop, not ice pop, uh, that sort of very berry blue sort of print. It's, it's got a name. I forget what it's called. But anyways, it's got the stripes and the purple. But that is a lot of fun. Okay, so let's see the magenta stripe. Really, really pretty. I quite like the magenta stripe and the navy stripe patterns. And see, fun. That's fun. So when the outside carries into the inside, I'm fine with that too, even if it doesn't have its very, very own interior. Um, now, it does have that inside that pocket. It should be that citrus pink, which is very, very fun. See, when I see the other thing that bothers me about things like this, especially when they've got pattern, I don't like the quilting on them because it kind of wrecks the, the look of it. Um, like the pattern is cool enough on its own. It didn't need any more zhuzhing on it. So sometimes it kind of ruins the flow of a little bit. Um, so that, I, yeah, sometimes I'm like, eh, it's too much quilting, especially when there's a lot of really good print on the outside already. All right, so this is the navy stripe. Again, carry it to the inside. It's a little bit weird in there, <laughs> but uh, it's still it's still fine. I prefer that over the black any day. And that looks like the joy stripe on the inside of that pocket. Oh, this is going to be my new favorite interior. Uh, OK, so again, we've got the sand taupe. Pretty boring on the inside, but just a little pop of color here. And that's that sea life or seashore or whatever it is. I guess we'll look at the colors in a minute. And then the tropical birds, because it's got that print on the outside, it's going to be a tropical jungle on the inside. And look at the pattern placement on this one. Do you see this? Hang on, can you see that there? Look at him. Look at him proudly sitting on top of that card slot. That is so cute. I love that. So if you had a card in there, it would probably sit right about there. And you'd have a little a little parrot guarding your top card. That is so cute. Um, so yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun in here if you got this print. You can hope that maybe, yeah, you would get that kind of pattern placement because that's adorable. Um, I would get that wallet just for that guy alone. Um, and I, this is not my favorite print, but if I saw that and I, I knew that he was there, I would get this wallet just so I could have my top card having a parrot watch over it. Okay, uh, he looks like he means business. He doesn't look like anyone's touching that, probably including me. He'd probably peck my finger off. All right, so let's look at these colors again. Okay, so here we are. So there is the, let me see, can you see that? Not very well. Okay, so let's just look at it here. So we've got, oh, come on, why does it do that? Why does it do that? All right, so the Paisley Kelly Green, that's what it's called, on the inside of the black, that pout, that just won that one pocket there. Trellis Purple is on the inside of the Butterfly Poppy. Seashore, that's what it's called, my new favorite interior print. Um, and then we've got, yep, the Citrus Pink on the inside of the Magenta Stripe. Uh, ah, that's what it's called. And so the inside of that pocket's called Square Birds. I think it's the dumb, I think it's a really stupid name, but it is what it is. It's got squares and it's birds, but um, anyway, so, and then yes, the Aloha Sand, that's what it's called. So, all right, um, lots and lots of fun colors. Let's take a look and see what it says. It says, uh, ever realize you have an embarrassing amount of cards? Yes, uh, it is actually. Um, well, Straddle Wristlet RFID Wallet will keep them neatly organized. It has nine card slots in all. Really? That's it? It looked like more. Uh, plus one Clearview ID pocket, six pockets for bills or receipts. Really? Six? Okay, we'll go back and look at that in a second. Bonus points. You can travel in confidence with total RFID protection. Um, and then let's see the measurements. So eight and a half inches, sorry, eight and a quarter inches wide, four inches high, one and a quarter inches deep. That's, I'm not sure if that's exactly the same. I think it's a little bit longer than like their larger wallets in that it's longer than like a kickflip. Because I think the kickflip and the splits XL come in in like this eight inch, seven inch range. So I think it's a little bit shorter than that. Don't quote me on that one. Um, I just feel like this is a little bit longer. Maybe it just looks like it's longer. I can't really completely tell. I guess I can look in a second. Um, and then let's see the features real quick. So wristlet strap, uh, one zipper compartment, rear accordion zipper pocket. Rear accordion zipper pocket. Oh, that, so the change thing. Okay, got it. Um, I don't think I would call that accordion, but okay. Nine card slots, one clear view ID pocket, floor, <laughs> four slip pockets. Um, and the whole RFID, sorry, the whole wall is RFID protected. Okay, let's look at the video real quick here. I should really try to measure this and compare it with the other sort of larger wallets, like the kickflip. It looks narrower. 
it might be the same length, but it looks narrower. There's definitely something a little bit smaller. It looks like it's, 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 sorry. It looks like it's wider, like, like this way and then shorter this way. But I don't know. It might actually be. So two slots. Ah, ooh, hidden pocket. Oh my God. Okay. That's, there's a lot of pockets back there. I'm really glad that I, that the video showed that. Um, cause I would have never guessed. It looked to me like that was going to be like a little cell phone pocket or a, like I said, a, like a, like something for your checkbook. Although it looks like you still can put your checkbook and maybe your phone if it's not too big in there, but there's lots of little hidden pockets in there. Um, you can really stay organized. Okay. So that's a removable wrist strap, which they didn't mention in anything there. And it didn't look like it was in the photo. So that's really good to know. So I know some people don't like the wristlet strap, which means you can take it off. The other thing it means is you've got a bonus wristlet strap that you can now stick on other items. Uh, if you happen to have like a Metro or a Metro XL, anything like that, or a coupe that you want to throw a wristlet strap on, now you can take it off of this thing and put it on that. Um, Okay, let's just go back here. I'm just going to rewind. So we got one slot there, which we already knew about. Another slot there. Is that a boarding pass? Does that look like a boarding pass to you? It looks like a boarding pass to me, which makes me think, is that a boarding pass? I haven't traveled in decades, uh, at least not by plane. So I have no idea what a boarding pass looks like um, anymore. To me, I thought they used to be really long and really big. Uh, that looks really, really small to me. Um, okay, so... It might be long enough for a boarding pass though, either way. So let me know if anybody actually got this and has tried to put a boarding pass in. So there's two slots there on that one side. Hidden pocket, that one's got the fun print and it looks like it's pretty shallow. It looks like it's a lot more shallow. It doesn't look like it goes all the way down to that one slot, what one side, um, but it's fun and uh, no zipper, which is always, I kind of wish they would have one with a zipper so that if you want to keep certain things really secure, um, whatever it is, like you're holding your jewelry in there, um, you know, a valuable something like a really, really, really high value, like, I don't know, gift card or whatever it is. So that looks shallow, but it's hidden. That's kind of fun. Okay. So it looks like this back thing is divided. So it looks like there's a slot here. So I think, so that's one, two, three, four, five and then right, right behind it that's six so that's what they're talking about when they say slip six slots or six was it what did they call it hang on what does it say da, 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 da. no it says four slip pockets where do they say six wasn't there something about six i thought i read something about six okay um i could be wrong all right whatever i don't see that there anymore okay so i think i'm just making up numbers in my head so cash cash Okay. You know what? It's actually, it's got a lot of, lot of features. It's packed with a lot of features. Now for, you know, when they say, you know, is it, you know, do you have an embarrassing number of cards? If you actually genuinely have an embarrassing number of cards, this is not enough. There's not actually as many card slots in this as there are even in like the splits wallet. Um, I think in the splits wallet, there's way more. Uh, but if you really, really, really do have to carry around a lot of cards, this is probably not going to be the solution for you. If you are, if you genuinely have an embarrassing number of cards, which I do, you probably want something like a handspring because that thing is like a book, like a, like a card book. So you open it like a book and there's like a gazillion slots on each page. Um, so if you have an embarrassing number, like they say in the little, in the description there, this is not the one for you. If you have a lot of like, let's say you've got like two credit cards, like one for business, one for personal or a MasterCard, a Visa card, an American Express card because you like to have them. Um, you also have your driver's license and a library card and a, you know, like cards that you use all the time, but you have a lot of cards you use all the time. This is great. But if you have like a gazillion loyalty cards um, and gift cards and, you know, whatever punch cards and things like that, this is not even close to being enough. So yeah, just putting that out there. So if it's an embarrassing amount, keep looking. Uh, if you just have a normal person amount, but you like to carry them all in the same place, you don't want to just like leave them all in the car or put them in a separate wallet, then this is probably a good happy medium, especially if, you know, as, as time goes on, you know, the cards become more and more obsolete. They start, you know, giving you QR codes or whatever it is on your phone uh, and you're trying to downsize your giant card collection. This is probably a good way to go. 
Um, okay, I like it. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get it because I have so many wallets like this. And I, unfortunately, do have an embarrassing number of cards. So this is not enough for me. Um, and uh, I'm loving my Rodeo. That seems to hold enough of all of my my go tos all the time um without taking up a ton of sp a ton of space um so this would be good for people who don't like to fold their cash or fold their receipts that's the one thing i don't love about my rodeo is that if i've got receipts or whatever it is when i put it in that big back slot i have to fold it in so that when i have to pull it out again all of my receipts and all of my coupons and things are are kind of folded they're not creased but they're folded so when they come down onto the counter they're folded in the middle so if you don't like to fold your 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 cash or your receipts this is a great way to go because it looks like it's sort of like a rodeo but flattened out and longer so okay maybe i've just talked myself into getting this <laughs> so um but probably not right now because yeah, 75 dollars is far too much money still waiting for a sale on this one uh if there's a good sale i might actually get this one and this might be become my sort of you know sort of flatter version and longer version of a rodeo so uh for now this is a pass for me uh at 75 dollars it's nuts but i love how many slots there are i do like the the overall shape and look and look and feel of it um but uh yeah probably have to wait a little while and maybe there'll be some better colors in the fall um because for me right now i don't think these colors are going to work for for what i've got they don't really match any of the things i have so anyways but we'll see so that's it thanks so much for watching take care and i'll see you next time if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean a great deal to me as it really helps with the algorithm in getting this video and channel seen. It also helps if you subscribe to the channel or buy me a coffee. You can find out more about that in the description below. And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.